So now we're going to power the unit up from the power button. Uh, unlike most units, uh, this system only takes 45 seconds to, uh, to power up and connect to the cellular network. Other systems can take several minutes to boot up and power up. So we'll press the power button and you'll see the unit will come up and go through its uh, power up cycle. Uh, just to refresh, we're connect to the HDSDI input. We're using the external AC power supply as well as the battery. We don't have to use both. We can use one or the other, or one backs up the other. The system will come up. Then uh, while that's booting up, we can come over here and look at the receiver. Uh, the basic receiver is one R unit, one rack unit. And the basic one RU receiver can receive up to eight transmitters, uh, can uh, output one or two SDI signals live, can output 16 IP outputs. Uh, the Abbey West receiver has been IP ready for an all IP workflow for over a year now. The competition are talking about IP in the future. Uh, we've been doing it for over a year. Uh, this is especially important for companies like ESPN that have an all IP master control routing. Uh, all their signals are routed through the plant via IP. So having an IP output is very important to future proof uh, your system. So as you can see, the system has come up online and this is what the front panel looks like. So uh, to start a transmission, it's very simple. You just hit the live button and you're ready to go. Um, I'm not sure if we have the video input set properly. So I'm gonna go, I, I press the little, little gears here, I go to video, and we are in fact on the SDI input, uh, 5994 frame rate progressive. The camera is set to uh, 720p-i, and this is set to progressive, so I'm going to switch this to interlace to i, just so the camera will work properly. So now we're going to hit live.